Hey, this is Adam from Ads Productions and welcome back. This is my second instalment of my hardware tutorial series type thing. And we have a comment from the Stripes HD. They say, nice upcoming series. Would Defo like to see a tutorial on water cooling? Well, I've never actually done an original, unique build of a water cooling system from scratch before. I never really liked the idea of messing around with radiators, reservoirs, fans and pipes, etc, etc. So I didn't really want to mix water with electrical components. And that's where this solution comes in very, very handy. It's like an all-in-one water cooling package. The one I'm using here is called the Antec Cooler. To put this on the motherboard, you have to make sure that the mounting bracket that comes with the water cool pack is attached to the back of the motherboard, as this is what's going to hold your CPU cooler in place. And let's be honest, nobody likes an overheated CPU, as that could cause all kinds of problems. Next is the top side bracket that's needed to position the CPU cooler. Once you've got this in position, we're then going to need to screw the screws into the back plates from the top of the motherboard, like so. Now you may have noticed the broken brackets, the blue ones on the screen now. This is the result of me, the first time, over-screwing the screws. Make sure you don't do this because obviously it's not very pleasant to look at, but it doesn't really stop or dampen the functionality of this cooler. Okay, so at this stage, you should have your CPU cooler component of the cooling kit attached and secured to the motherboard. It shouldn't be moving in the slightest, it should be there and not going anywhere. And now with the incredible power of video editing, we are going to mount the motherboard back into the case, like this. Isn't it just magical? Now you need to reattach the exhaust fan to the back of the case. We're going to do this because we need to get rid of the heat that is generated from this cooler. And now once you've tightened all the screws up and connected your power cables to your motherboard and power supply, Simply turn the computer back on, and with a little luck, your system should be running back to normal, only this time, quieter and cooler. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with a water cooling package tutorial. If you want me to show you how to do anything involving basic computer hardware, simply leave me a comment to be in my next video. Thanks for watching.